Hey guys. In a previous video, I showed you some sneak peek footage of my new G0704 mill pan and stand. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the construction of the stand and then in the next video, I'll cover the pan. If you'll scroll down to the description, you'll find a link to a PDF where you can download a copy of my plans. They're completely free, so use them however you want. Some of my design goals for this project were to make a wider, taller, heavier, and more rigid stand than the one that came with my mill. If you've watched some of my older videos, you might remember that my stand came damaged in freight when I bought the mill, but I didn't send it back because I knew eventually I was gonna make a new stand. The first thing I wanna go over is construction of the legs. There are two designs and I use two legs from each design and this just gives you front to back and left to right symmetry when the whole thing's assembled. They're made from regular two by fours and two by sixes. And the reason I built it this way is so that the aprons sit right on top of the two by fours. The two by fours end up taking the entire weight of the mill. And then the two by six is attached to the side of the aprons, which makes it really rigid. And this way you don't have to worry about the fasteners or the glue holding the weight of your machine. It's resting right on top of those two by fours. For construction, I basically used five eighths hardwood dowels. And the reason I went with dowels is because I've been using them in some of my other projects and I really like the way they make a strong, tight joint. If you don't have any experience working with wood, you don't need to use dowels. You can use screws, bolts, lags, whatever. Uh, it's actually the glue that's gonna hold this thing together over the long term. In my opinion, if you're not using glue on your wood joints, it's eventually gonna get loose because your screws or nails or whatever are gonna back out. You can see that my, the top of the, apron is flush with the top of the two by sixes. And then the two by fours butt up to the bottom of the apron. And again, that allows the two by fours to take the entire weight of the mill. I've got four clamps on one end and five clamps on the other. Uh, for the final glue up, I use four clamps on each end and then two clamps in the middle to help with bowing. This is because I don't have a planer or a, a joiner. So I'm just using, you know, two by fours that you get right from your local lumber store and they're not straight. So the more clamps you can get, the better. Speaking of clamps, these are Harbor Freight Blue Quick Clamps, and I've had really good luck with them. So if you need a bunch of clamps, uh, I, I don't think you can go wrong with these. You can see here where I've glued holes for the dowels. And I want to mention that dowel construction is a lot more complicated than regular construction because you have to clamp the whole thing together to drill your dowel holes. Then you have to take it all apart to glue it, then put it back together, glue your dowels, and hammer them in. So don't be intimidated by using dowels. In fact, if I were doing this again, I'd probably just use screws. You can see the uh, two by fours for the legs on the left, the two by sixes for the legs on the right. Then four of those boards in the middle were for the aprons and four more were for a lower uh, structure that I was gonna use, basically four cross members around the bottom of the stand. But it ended up being so rigid, I just didn't need it. Here you can see that front to back, left to right symmetry and the overall width ends up being 29 and a half by 29 and a half. Uh, the dimensions you're looking at in that picture are actually of the aprons themselves, not the outside dimensions of the stand. Here you can see my four legs standing together. And uh, in this next shot, you can see them with the aprons. Everything's finished up at this point. What you can't tell is that there's actually a lot of glue that's squeezed out all over the place. And that's because I subscribe to the whole more glue is better philosophy. I think if you don't have a lot of glue, then, I mean, you just have bare wood touching bare wood. It's not going to be stronger. The top is 30 inches by 30 inches and it's three layers of three quarter inch plywood. I happen to have a bunch of plywood left over from a previous project. So I used nine pieces and then layered them in a way with liquid nails in between each layer. And uh, then I had to trim about three inches all the way around the perimeter there to, to get it down to 30 by 30. Also, you'll notice that I had a, a bunch of screws. That's what I used to screw it down to the apron. And there was liquid nails between the apron and that bottom layer of plywood. To give my mill stand leveling capability, I decided to make my own leveling feet. So I used one inch grade five nuts and bolts and then I trimmed them down with my lathe because I couldn't find my hacksaw. And then for the feet, I used, these are just hockey pucks. I drilled a hole about halfway through the depth and then used a boring bar to get the hole big enough that I could just tightly squeeze the head of the bolt into the hockey puck. The way that I placed them on the bottom of the leg is to draw a diagonal line. Then I came in an inch and three quarter and drew a cross line. And then using a combination of chisels and drill bits, I just removed enough material that I could, I could put the nut flush into the leg. And then I used, used liquid nails to hold it in place and that worked just fine. Anyway, that's everything I've got for this video. In the next video, I will go over the pan. Don't forget to like this one and subscribe to my channel because after the pan video, it's gonna be on to flood coolant.